Hi guys and welcome back to this Bando video, today I'm showing you how to get animated wallpapers. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr. And here as you can see on my Fiverr, you can get a logo or a banner or both for your YouTube channel if you want. But now back to the video. So the one in question here is going to be lively wallpapers, so I'm just going to type that here. Now here as you can see it's the original here by Rox Dennister, so you can go to the site, but you can now also go to the Microsoft App Store. So in case you don't have it, you can just go to their official site right here. So it's the official Rox Dennister site, it's the company that goes over Lively Wallpaper, and you can click Download here. But once again, if you're just a Microsoft here, you have the Microsoft App Store, you can just click on this one here, and then just click Download right here, you don't even need to sign in. Now you could of course also immediately go to the Microsoft Store in Windows here. But as I said, you can also just download it here. It's the same principle. So as you can see, it will be up here. So what we can do then is to go in shown folder. Now as you can see here in shown folder, it will be in my downloads. So that's where it is right here. So this is the .exe, so the setup. I'm just going to double click it here. If you have nothing else running, it can go pretty quickly. And then normally it should launch itself. And now if I close this, as you can see right here, we have the Lively Wallpaper app here. So I'm just going to make it bigger here. Now here are some examples. So some integrated default uh, animated wallpapers that they actually already have built in. But you can of course also choose your own one, which is what we're going to do. So you go above here to Add Wallpaper. So you can do a file on your PC. So an MP4 file, or any other video format. Or you can also do in URLs, for example, that you got from YouTube or anything else. So I have a file right here. I have an MP4 video. So I'm just going to do open. And so as you might already saw it earlier, I have one prepared right here. Sekiro Moonlight Waterfall it's called. So I'm just going to click it. There you go. So here you have some details. You can do title, description, but this isn't really important. You can just click OK here. And as you can see right here, this is the desktop one. So if you have multiple ones, you can span across screens. If you have like two, for example, you can also duplicate the same wallpaper. And so on your left screen and on your right screen, for example, you will have the same, but then duplicate it. So twice. So I only have one 24 inch screen. So 920 by 1080 pixels screen. So I'm just going to click OK here. Now if I, for example, do this, as you can see, and then we'll minimalize it. As you can see, it's as simple as that. I have my animated wallpaper right here. Now you can, for example, change the speed as well. If I click here, I have some options here. As you can see, if you want to do another one, you just set, set as wallpaper. If you, for example, want one of the others. If you can go to customize, you can see you can also do the saturation, the hue, the brightness, contrast. So you can basically change. Now don't do it too much because it really depends on the image. Some will work better than others. But that's the main idea. You can actually just play around with that if you want. But also speed for example. So if I do for example this. As you can see maybe already. It's quite accelerated. Now depending on the PC you have. Some might handle it better than others you know. It really depends on how good your computer is. But that is something you could potentially play around with. If that's the detail you want. Now open file locations of course where I got it from. In case you lost it. And you can also delete it. For example, if you really need to. We have also gallery here, but that's apparently coming soon. So they might have some other new animated wallpapers coming up. Themes, but also here, quickly go over the settings here. Startup of Windows, you can say on. So if, for example, Windows is starting up and you want it to start up immediately, lively wallpaper. If you, for example, constantly want that same wallpaper, even on startup, you can, of course, turn it on and off here. You can also use this little icon. It will go down here. As you can see, it's right here. The little icon here. So if you want that as well, a bit hidden from your taskbar, you can do that as well. Now the theme, don't get confused. This is the theme of the actual application here. So it's not of, nothing to do with the wallpaper. This is actually the theme of the application. So don't get those too confused. So you have the volume in case there's volume with the animation wallpaper so you can do it in full screen of course you can also do battery saver in case you need that maybe it will react better you per se might even be able to if you have a laptop obviously to handle the animated wallpaper more in case you need that you can also set it as a desktop wallpaper why not you can choose to fit so you have some multiple options here and then you have some extra options here also can do the theme of the taskbar those are some little details you can also debug it in case if you have some bugs to report and now you can just close it right now if i do this as you can see, it will tell you to lively is minimized to system tray. Right click lively icon to continue. So you just click OK. And that basically means that it went to the little arrow here. And that you can basically just start it up by clicking here again. So you have to right click on it and do open lively. And there you go, you can just come back here. But if you really want to close it, close it. You can just right click here and then just do exit. And there you go. And so in case if you want to find it back, you can just simply search for it again. Now as you can see, it's in my recent here. But I can also just do lively. Of course, same principle. It will be here and I can just start it up again. It's a really nice animated wallpaper software. It's one I've used in the past few years and it's always very sustainable. I really like it. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe would also be really nice. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.